let's try this again. Welcome everyone to the wonderful video entitled, What is PhysX? So the mission for this video, or the goal, is for me to explain to you what PhysX is. Now any PC gamer that has any AAA title or any online uh, downloadable game or any MMO or anything like that has probably at least seen it in the settings at least once where it says PhysX. And to spell it properly for those who don't know, it's P-H-Y-S-X. And it is a proprietary real-time physics engine, middleware SDK, originally developed as Novadex by the company Novadex. And then it was uh, bought by Ajea, keeping the original name. And then when it was acquired, when Ajea was acquired by an NVIDIA in 2008, they rebranded the same software to PhysX. So basically what PhysX is, is it's a physics engine hardware acceleration software and no, actually it's not really software, I take that back. It is an engine. It is a physics engine and hardware acceleration resource. And it's interesting that they call it a resource considering that's what this program, and not even program, that's what this coding this engine sucks down as resource. So PhysX being a software engine, what it handles and what it deals with is how bullets react to enemies, what happens when you fall on glass and glass breaks, how water ripples, how grass blows, everything that deals with real world movement or the interaction of force on an object is dealt with in the game by PhysX or by the game's physics engine which for most AAA titles is going to be PhysX from NVIDIA because there really is nothing better. Now, PhysX, to explain it in detail or to help you understand, PhysX is resource heavy. It is a big thing. It's a big part of the game. And in all honesty, unless you have the horsepower to push it, I would usually recommend running it on low or maybe medium if you have the power. Now the reason I picked Borderlands 2, which is the game in the background, is because it is a fantastic example of physics gone wrong. So Borderlands 2 is an amazing game and I'm not very far in it, but I'm enjoying it immensely except for the fact that they run physics with little to no optimization which is good and it's bad it's good because that means that you get the full ability of physics without any bottlenecking however that means that unless you have the power to back it up the game will actually freeze up on you which is what i found out now i have a pretty decent build here at home it's not top tier but it's better than most and i have to run it uh Actually, I run it on low mainly to get that 60 or better FPS. I can run it on medium, but the difference in gameplay quality is not enough to warrant the drop in frame rate. And for anybody that plays shooters, you know frame rate is key. So, with physics in this game specifically, it handles bullet detection, collision, and environmental interaction that's the big three that in most shooter games and in borderlands 2 it covers immensely um it's really nice to have a physics engine in the game because it allows for that real world feel however it really really does draw down on your resources which brings us to what we call supplementing so you can supplement the physics processes to a secondary card if you have more than one whether they're SLI'd or not. So, in most cases, it's actually easier to supplement a non SLI'd card when it comes to most PhysX configurations than an SLI'd card because most people will actually set up SLI'd cards to all run as one. Now, that is a little bit more tech savvy than most people, and most gamers that will encounter PhysX only have one card in their rig in the first place. So you can't really divert to another card if you don't have one. Now, 
That is not to say all is lost, because there is a lot of Physex enabled cards, which means that the card itself understands that it needs to divert some of its processes to handling Physex, uh, Physex, Physics, uh, how do you say, calculations, because that's basically what the card does, it's calculations. It needs to solve those on its own instead of trying to lump it in with the entire graphical process. And without going into too much detail on how a graphics card works, it's just gonna have to take it at that. That's it just it diverts and it handles on its own. So that basically describes why you would want to run a second card to help divert the physics processes. Now, physics is available across the board. Being that it's an engine, it runs for multiple games on Windows. Linux and Mac, even though I don't know why anyone would game on a Mac, but hey, if that's what you like, that's what you like. Uh, it is available for consoles, however, you won't really see its full ability on consoles solely because the console is wired and, and the console is actually optimized and so is the SDK when they use it to handle its own and you won't really see a difference no matter if physics is being fully utilized or not due to the limitations of console gaming the main place you will see it is on pc games now physics is free it's a free physics engine which is one reason why it's so popular is because it's an amazing and one of if not the best physics engine and it's free so it's, I mean, this just can't go wrong. That's just all there is to it. Now, slight bit more history is being that it started as a physics simulation engine called Novadex. And it was created by the Swiss company, also aptly named Novadex. And also, as we said earlier, acquired by Ajaya. So, it actually was originally labeled as the Physics PPU. Basically, what that stands for is Physics Processing Unit. Because originally, Physex was not lumped in with the graphical hardware and graphical processing. It is for some cards nowadays, but for most top-tier graphics cards and, well, really most modern graphics cards now split the Physex calculations as their own separate processes. Which is very, very helpful when gaming. So, the last tidbit I want to uh, touch on here is um, the fact that Physex is an engine. However, it is a physics engine, meaning that it actually still has to exist inside of something else. So, whether that is a. Um, whether that is Unity, whether that is Unreal Engine, Instinct Engine torque big, whatever engine it is that the game runs on physx runs inside of the engine physx is not its own complete engine so i hope this sheds some light on the game i know i rambled a bit if you have any questions feel free to hit me up on twitter or leave the questions down in the comment i'll do my best to answer them and i will leave a link to the wikipedia article for physx it's very helpful in the description um, this is the facial hair. That's Borderlands you're watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day.